Namaste. In this video, I will tell you how to plot a velocity profile in a circular cross section when a fluid is flowing. So, first of all, let's see what kind of things and library we are going to use in Python. So, here we use numpy, matplot, plot py plot, and math. Just remember, I am using from numpy import star. It means uh, from numpy import star star means whatever the whatever the functions available in numpy it will import all the functions and similarly i am using matplotlib.pyplot import star so whatever the uh, functions available in pyplot it will import all if you use uh, so any other uh, python codes on internet you will see that uh, it is import numpy as uh, just remember i am not using that because it will increase the number of typing word and also your effort so i hate that kind of thing so i am not using from math import star okay now the first thing here is written p1 p1 is basically pressure at entering point okay so here you can here you will enter the value of p1 in newton similarly p2 in newton here eval eval basically what it will do it will convert the input value into a number for example if i don't use eval what will happen that the input will be taken uh, take as a string but i want that input will take as a number so i'm using eval it will evaluate uh, what the input okay uh, now mu mu is basically the viscosity so i'm taking the viscosity unit as a newton second Newton second per meter square. Uh, just remember, I'm just using SI units. If you if you want to use pounds or any other units, you can use that. Basically, I'm from India, so the uh, uh, we use SI units here. You can use as per your country requirement. R R is basically the diameter of the pipe in which the fluid is going to flu uh, flow. So you will enter here the the diameter of the pipe in meter okay now l l is the length of the pipe so you will enter the length of the pipe in meter just remember make sure you use the units correctly any mistake in uh, units uh, will make will show you a wrong graph or a wrong answers so if p hey i put a if as condition if p1 greater than p1 less than p2 it will swap the value just remember if p2 greater than p1 what will happen it will plot a wrong graph, wrong graph and nobody likes it even your research work if p1 equal to p2 what will happen we get a zero value as you can see v max p1 minus p2 if p1 equal to p2 we will get zero so it's a obvious thing that we will get no graph and n is the number of uh, basically the gap for example R n space minus R to R n. Uh, you will understand what this mean when a graph will be plotted. V max is the maximum velocity uh, of our fluid flowing, and V is the average. So we use V max uh, to understand this formula. Uh, what is return here? Uh, please go into my description. There is a blog link. Uh, if you go there, you will understand uh, what it means more uh, better. And understand delivery. T and scatter. Basically, uh, basically, I'm going to plot a scatter plot. So along x-axis, I'm plotting uh, velocity meter per second. Along y, it is diameter and the title. So let's run the program. Click on run module. Click OK. Now enter the value of P1. Let's say 5000 and enter the value of p2 let's say 4700 just remember these units are in newton okay enter the value enter the value of viscosity 0.1 enter the radius of the pipe 0.6 enter the length of the pipe let's say 100 and it will and it plots the graph you can see minus 6 to 6 so 0 to 6 is the r and 626 
it's basically the diameter of the pipe so here you see the velocity here is 0 meter per second and increasing up to 2.5 and here you get the maximum velocity okay now as I told you that The work of N is the number of gap. For example, as you see these number of uh, dots, these dots are basically represented by N. If higher the value of N, higher will be the number of dots and it increase the accuracy. But just remember, if you have a uh, uh, weak PC, for example, less RAM or processes weak, uh, I prefer don't use high values, uh, use less values. Uh, because it will make sometimes crash your PC or something uh, like else problem. Uh, for example, in my case, the RAM of my laptop is 12 GB near about, so it will work fine in uh, for any kind of programs. If you have 8 GB, it will also uh, do then this kind of program easily. Okay, uh, I hope this tutorial is useful for you. Uh, make sure you click on like and subscribe button. Uh, if you think this video is useful for you and if if anybody helps to donate this channel financially, I will be very thankful to them. Uh, it will be very helpful for me. Uh, even a single penny from you is very helpful for me. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, for any other queries, make sure you comment. And link is in the description uh, for more information. Thanks for watching and have a great day.